Hey guys, Todd here. Actually, no, I don't have to say that because it's the blog, so. G'day, hello, uh, bonjour, and all that jazz. Uh, right, uh, what's been happening? Uh, well, I'm currently vaping away with this wee guy, the smoke e pipe. It's just. just floats my boat. Shut up, door. Uh, It's lovely. That's quite smart, uh, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Come on. Oh. Oh. Uh, right. Um, he's just been out for a walk, so he's a happy boy. Uh, of course, going on. Quite. Uh, I've been doing quite a lot. I've been quite busy. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, ha ha ha. That's me. I've just gone over the. One million views. One million views, uh, and six thousand subscribers. So I would like to thank everyone that has ever watched one of my videos for having the patience of a saint and for putting up with me talking rubbish most of the time. Uh, the fact that you can glimmer any information out of uh, my reviews is just a miracle. Uh, so, uh, I'm I'm well chuffed about that. Well chuffed. I'm not bothered about subscribers. Uh, subscribers is something that just doesn't bother me or interest me in the slightest. It's the views. It's you know, it's the fact that folk are actually watching them. Uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> I spilt some uh, Grant's vanilla custard custard, and he's looking. Stop it, bloody nicotine addict. Uh, so I, uh, it's all the views that just really make my day. Uh, what a week! Uh, the K Fun Light, the Russian, the these clones are just. Uh, I can I can mention this because it's in my blog. Uh, and these the whole clone thing is just mental, absolutely mental. Uh, I get the clone thing. I've talked about this a million times before. I get the clone thing. It's a budget thing, you know. Not everybody can go and spunk a hundred and thirty quid on a, an atty. Uh, so if there's a you know a cheaper option out there, they'll go for it. And I get that. I absolutely get that. Uh, but the K Fun light coming out and just blowing the the Russian right out of the water. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> China at zero, Germany or Russia, uh, Germany one. Um, that's a bit of a, <laughs> that was a, aye, that was a bit of a stonker that. Um, <laughs> on that note, there's something I'd like to cover. This is my opinion. Just bear this in mind, okay? This is my opinion. Pre-orders. If you get something on a pre-order and you pay your money, pay it with a credit card. Or if you use PayPal, you know, do that. Never send it bank transfer or anything like that. Because if it goes tits up, you're stuffed. You're absolutely stuffed. And if it goes over 45 days on PayPal, you're stuffed, you're, you know. So, if you're on a pre-order and it's coming up to 45 days, if you're not happy and you're not going to get your item within the next few days, put in a PayPal claim, get your money back, stuff whatever it is, rather than taking the chance of losing your money, you know, uh, get it back. Uh, there's always another device in the market that you can get. There's no point in being out of pocket for that length of time. I understand with small mod makers that they need money up front to pay for stuff. What? Uh, you know, they don't have the money to spend on getting all this stuff made um, first. You know, they've got to get money in. I have my thoughts on that as well, but, uh, you know, 
if I pay for something, I want to know that it's being made at that moment in time. Not that it's going to be made once he's got all everybody's money in, and then he'll go off and start doing the processing and all this kind of stuff. It really pisses me off. Uh, and I've seen a few cases across the forums now where people are over their 45 days for PayPal, uh, and they're still getting excuses and communication issues and shit like that. So my advice, pre-orders, don't do them. Go and buy something else. Um, that was a bit rough. Eh? Uh, what else have we got going? Uh, we've got a few bits and bobs. I've got some interesting stuff coming from UVO. Uh, it's the guys that make the... This is a Spectrum M1, which I'm still to review. And uh, fully compatible with all GGTS stuff. And uh, it's just... It's kind of funky. It's it's similar, but it's kind of different. And what battery in this I have? Uh, I mean, that's an IATI with a GGTS connector on it, going straight into the spectrum. I mean, I think I've got an issue. I mean, there's the. <laughs> oh, forget it. I've got too many GGTS type devices. Um, so there's that, uh, quite funky, and uh, I got some e-liquid sent to me by Trip, uh, Tim, if you've not heard of them, Trip Hammer uh, e-liquids. I had a bit of a, a, a weakness for Trip's uh, strawberry champagne, you know it's Wimbledon, you know, you, you need a bit of strawberry champagne in your life, and it's beautiful stuff, uh, but he sent me a couple other ones as well. Sent me this one called Fizzy Trifle. <laughs> it's just like oh, Fizzy Trifle. It's smart. It's really smart. And uh, Billy at Vaping King. Yeah, uh, he sent me some uh, Vamp Kiss, uh, which is another lovely e-liquid. Um, I forget what Trip sells him. I think it's Vapescape. I'm sure, it's Vapescape that he sells his liquids. But they're exceedingly nice. Um, what else have we got coming next week? I have no idea. I think I've only got my mini atom DNA mod. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. I'm getting one made for me. Um, so that's coming. I'm down for the elevator mod. Do you know the elevator? Uh, it's basically a 22mm stainless steel tube mod with a DNA chip in it. Well funky. Uh, very, very nice indeed. And uh, I should have coming uh, from Greg at Friends of the Sword. And do you know, I can never remember how to pronounce this. Uh, and it's at the Odiachi or something like that. It's a hybrid. Uh, it's quite well known around the forums, Greg, uh, and kind of knows his stuff. So, and it's quite embarrassing that I can't actually remember. See people signing you up to groups on Facebook. <sighs> Friends of the Sword. I mean, I'm in so many bloody groups, and I don't know half these groups. Uh, Odachi. Odachi, I think it is. Uh, hybrid. Uh, ah, groups and Facebook. You go to your bed at night, quite happy, and go for a sleep. You wake up in the morning and you've got 60 emails because somebody signed you up to a group and you automatically get notification of every email uh, or every message. Pain in the ass. Um, right, that's it. Um, I think. I've ranted. I've informed. I've uh, bragged. Uh, yeah, that's about it. And you've seen the dog. So all is well. All is well. Um, I can't think of anything else. There is something I'm missing. There is something I'm missing. Um, oh! Giveaways. Ah, right, I'm getting them parceled up and whatnot. Uh, 
I've got the the ones for uh, Celtic Vapes, their emails are out for packaging info and stuff like that. The ones for Charlie's Vape Shop, uh, I've not gotten back to people yet because not everybody has got in touch. So I'll give it a few days. Uh, so don't panic if you've not heard from me. Um, and other than that, the Medusa, the VRDA, this thing, which I've never given up on yet. I've been trying so many different ways with this fecking thing and it's just doing my head in and I should just crush it, bin it, melt it down, whatever, but uh, I just can't give up. Uh, I really just can't give up, but uh, anyway, right, enough, 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 enough. Ah, fudge sticks. Right, I'm away. Have a lovely week, and we'll catch up with you soon, guys. And once again, thank you to everybody, everybody that uh, said nice, you know, nice things on the subscribe when I mentioned the, the number of views and whatnot. You're uh, too kind by far. Uh, uh, right, I'm away. See, I'm talking shite today, so I am.